In this short video, I'll be demonstrating the collision detection methods available for the rigid body 2D. I'll be answering the questions, what's the difference between the collision detection methods or the advantages and disadvantages of the collision detection methods? And when should I use these collision detection methods? The collision detection methods available to use for the rigid body 2D are discrete and continuous. Discrete is a fast and efficient collision method that's generally used for most of the physics-based objects in a scene that isn't moving at high velocities. Continuous, on the other hand, is more expensive to run but provides accurate physics calculation results. In this example, I have a wall with a box collider 2D, which we'll be launching the square at. The square has a box collider 2D, a rigid body 2D, and a script I made to launch the square and return it to the starting position. Starting on discrete, if I launch the square at the wall at a slow speed, such as a velocity of 5, you'll see it collides with the wall and doesn't go through. However, if I decide to launch the square at a much faster speed, such as a velocity of 500, you'll see it goes through the wall instead of colliding with it. This is where a continuous collision detection comes into play. If I switch it to continuous collision detection and launch it at the wall at a speed of 500, you'll see it stops at the wall instead of going through as seen with discrete. Although discrete is not as accurate as continuous at faster velocities, it doesn't require nearly as much computing power as continuous does. Especially if you have many continuous objects in the scene, you'll really start to see performance drops in your project. You should generally use discrete if the object isn't expected to move at incredibly high velocities. Static objects also doesn't need to be user continuous as they aren't moving. You can also dynamically change which collision mode to use on the go. If I go to the script I made, you will be wanting to get a reference to the rigid body that you want to change, then get the collision detection mode field and set that equal to collision detection mode 2D dot and either continuous or discrete based on what you need for your current situation. If I have any information wrong or you have questions, comment on this video and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching.